and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. Hi, I'm Andrea. I'm a full-time writing instructor at my local university and I am a part-time content creator and indie author. And welcome back for all of you lovely, lovely people who are subscribed and got this in your sub box and have come back to hang out with me. As you probably saw from the title, it's going to be another writing vlog. I really liked doing this last week. I don't know if this one's going to be five days. I think I might break it up. I think I might do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday as a separate vlog. But we have definitely, as you will have seen from the last vlog from Sunday, which was just yesterday, it already feels like a lifetime ago, but as you will have seen from the last vlog, we have reached that point in the semester where my brain is just melting down on a daily basis and I can no longer cope with anything. And vlogging is just getting to be a little bit of a struggle. I don't want the next couple weeks of vlogs or of vlogging to be me talking about how tired I am. Just know that that is always there in the background. <laughs> that is my constant state at the moment. Hello, I live here now. It's not ideal. It's not permanent. Once the semester is done, I know I will get the rest that I need and I will start to feel a little bit better and vlogging will feel easier again. Right now it just feels like a bit of a struggle and I don't mind sharing that every now and then but when it feels like every vlog is me struggling, that's not so much fun. <laughs> So for you, for me, for any of us. But I can already tell based on my analytics that you all really enjoyed the last big writing vlog. So I thought we would do that again this week because I am committed to sharing my Camp Nano experience and it just feels like these just vlogging little snippets in the evening of my writing sessions and like just vlogging the writing sessions and putting at least a few of them into one vlog to make up a whole vlog is enjoyable for a lot of you and if not most of you and is definitely easier for me. So we're going to take the path of least resistance and do some more writing vlogs at least through the end of April. So if you do enjoy these please give them a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It's 4.54 so it's almost five o'clock. I figure I can work until probably at least 6 30. I've done a ton of grading today. I've gone for my walk so I'm still dressed <laughs> from my walk and still a little bit warm but I figured I would start doing some writing and then I'll get myself freshened up a little bit later when I'm ready to have dinner. So I think I'm gonna write until about six-ish, quarter till to six, somewhere between 5.45 and six, I'm gonna work for, and then I'll start making dinner and I'll continue writing while dinner cooks. So that's kind of the plan for that. I also want to spend a few moments, we'll talk about writing goals in a little bit, but I wanted to spend a few moments, I'm, I started reading this during NaNoWriMo in November, and I didn't finish it. I I did make progress. I'm almost halfway through. So I want to try to read like a chapter of this a day throughout the rest of camp. I don't know if that will allow me to finish it, but if not, I will be very, very close. The chapters are short. So I wanted to do some reading in this. I've got some popcorn as a snack and a few a tiny handful of peanut M&Ms. So I've got a kind of late afternoon writing snack. I figured I'd read this. I wanted to do some work in my notes. I've been doing a lot of character development in Babisco, which I really like. But one thing I'm realizing I kind of need is like character cheat sheets. And so I was thinking of creating those in the notebook and just taking a page, probably taking a two page spread like this for the main female character and the main male character so that whenever I'm writing, I can have the notebook just open to that two page spread and be able to see them. So I'm gonna pull up the Bisco and go through just the, the main questions because um, there's things that I remember putting into the character interview section of Babisco where I was like, ooh, this is giving me a good idea for a scene or for a moment. I should write this down somewhere separate so that I don't forget it. So I want to go back through the questions that I've already answered and just jot down the most important things so that I don't <laughs> I don't forget those as I'm writing because I'm about to finish chapter four. So I am getting into the book. So I don't want to get too much further and then not 
have really done much character development. So I'm going to set the project notebook aside because we're gonna start with Bird by Bird. I will check back in just a moment once I am ready to start writing, but for now, I just wanna take like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, we'll see how long it takes me to read that chapter. 10, 15 minutes to do just a little bit of this like pre-writing. I feel like I wanna start like a pre-writing routine where I do some work in the character note, in the project notebook or in Babisco, doing more character development, read bird by bird, just kind of start centering myself. It just feels like it's been a bit of a day. <laughs> been a bit of a week and it's only Monday so I just feel like I need to start creating a routine that helps me really arrive at the writing desk beyond just turning on music and lighting a candle I feel like I need just a couple extra steps in there maybe not every day but some days and today is one of those days that I need that show you because I don't want to give too much away but I've got stuff written I'm liking I think this is gonna work um, I might have to go back and do this for the main characters in my other books when I start editing those this summer and I will definitely have to remember to kind of do this in the future going forward what I honestly probably should do and I've thought about doing this is making index cards Having them in the in the project notebook is good, but I also think I want a version that is both digital, but also a version that is like on a file card. So that if for some reason I can't have the notebook open or something, or if I wanna be looking at multiple characters at a time, because like right now I've only got a two page spread for these two characters. So if I wanted to look at those two characters plus other characters, I can't do that, so yeah one of those ideas for something to do in the summer when I have more time but I do not have time right now so I need to take a, find like an online tutorial on how to use Excel because I feel like that's what I need or I need to get back into obsidian which is tempting but ooh, obsidian just feels really overwhelming <laughs> Like I said, I really just want something that's AI, but that I own, like I have my own license, it's not public, no one else can see it, that I can just dump the final manuscripts of each of my books, and then it can pull all that data for me. Like, I know someone's going to build this. Someone is going to build this. If I knew anyone with coding skills and like app development skills, who could work with AI, if I knew like any programming programming people, I would be pitching this idea to be a part of it because someone is going to do it. Mark my words, someone is going to create it because someone else is thinking of this too. It's gonna be a case of mutual discovery or someone's gonna watch these videos and be like, I have that skill, I can make that. If you do, let me know, like, let's chat. I won't charge you for my idea, just give me a free version once it comes out. Like, I just, I know someone is going to think about this. And I, it, it could take only a couple years, it could take several years, but like eventually 
like writers are going to realize that creating a Bible for your series, especially if like me and like a lot of authors I know you write within like a larger universe and all of your books are in that same universe, creating a Bible that can remember all of this information is really important and yet it's so time consuming. And like there are people commented, there are programs, there are there are some there is some software and some apps for um world development. Babisco is one of them. Babisco, which I am currently using, is fantastic for world building and character development, but it's not it's it's not searchable and it's not something that I can just dump in my um existing projects. I'd have to build this out for all of my previous books and all of my previous characters and that's way too time consuming. And then once it is built, I from what I can tell, it's not searchable for me to see in what book did this character appear or what hair color did this character have like it's not it's not what i'm envisioning projects or software like notion and obsidian obsidian would probably be the closest to what i'm envisioning but you have to build everything out from scratch from the ground up i don't have time for that most authors don't have time for that so i really just want something where i can drag and drop the final Word doc file of each book and it just knows this character is in this book, this character is in this book, this character is described in this way and so I can just ask it questions and it will be able to find me the answers and like send me to the page where I actually talk about it so I can like verify exactly what I said. So I, I, I'm, I'm not that much of a genius. Like, I don't think this is like a, a genius idea that only the s most smart people, most smart, can come up with. So like, I know smarter people than me will, you know, figure this out and will create this project, you know, this software, and will probably charge a good chunk of money for it. But like, I would pay, I would pay a good chunk of money for a license to software like this because it would save me so much time in the long run and as I go from having six books to having 20 books to having 40 books like I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna keep writing even if I don't publish or publish in a different way I'm gonna keep writing so like this software that I'm envisioning would be worth whatever it would charge be charged for you know whatever it would cost you know, I know that I could create an Excel spreadsheet that could do some of this and I could, I've got the character questions in Babisco and I know I could probably set up something amazing in Notion, but like all of those things require a huge amount of time up front to build it out. Like I, it's 540. I said I was going to stop working on this at like quarter after and I stopped working at it at about 5.30. I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. It's like it's 5.40. Like right, just writing about a full page, page and a half between these two characters took me so much time. And time is something we authors never have enough of. So when it comes, this is why I think a lot of the Bible and like databases and notes and stuff this is why it doesn't get done to the level that most authors want it to be because we'd rather spend our time writing so yeah like i love that babisco has the all the note sections and the character interviews and like that definitely helps but like even just filling out those questions took up time that could have been spent outlining earlier this year so it's just the character development is important, but sometimes the questions just get redundant from one book to the next, and I need I need something easier. Long story short, I need something easier. Anyway, I need to start writing now, so I need to switch from Babisco and put that into the background and pull up Scrivener. So where we are at... I did not do much writing yesterday. I only did like 229 words. In Scrivener, we are at 22,741. In Camp Nano, 
we are at 16,957. By the end of today, I'm supposed to at least be at 17,000. So I will definitely get there and I'm hoping I will get beyond that. But by not writing very much, I definitely closed. Like we're almost, we're pretty much back on track with where I should be if I did the the minimum my my goal each each day. So um, I'd like to try to do. I'd like to try. And now it's a little bit later because I spent time doing that work, which is important, but it took time. I had wanted to try to do like 1,500 words today. I don't know if that's going to happen but we will see. I do want to finish chapter four. That will definitely happen because I don't think chapter four has more than another couple hundred words at the most. So I'll move on to chapter five. I'm hoping the power of a new chapter will help drive things forward and I will get a little bit more writing done than I think. I'm definitely going to work for about 15 minutes and then we'll see where things are at I need to just stop talking and stop thinking out loud and just start writing and we'll see just where where things go and how much how many words I get written. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Um, don't worry, we're not turning into a cooking vlog. This is still a writing vlog, but I figured I would feed two birds with one scone here. Parmesan cheese. I am just stopping to, I've freshened myself up a little bit, but yeah, I'm just heating up the toaster oven to roast some green beans. I'm gonna make some pasta to go along with it. Just having something really simple today. My stomach honestly cannot handle anything that intense right now. Like <laughs> the fibro is flaring up, the IBS is flaring up, the stress, end of semester stress. Uh, it's not fun, not fun at all. Just keeping meals very simple at the moment so that I don't make myself sick figured we could chat really quick while I grate up some cheese and the toaster oven heats up a little bit more and then once that's heated up we can go sit back down and I can get back to writing. But writing so far has gone well. I am at up to like 920 something words. So getting close to a thousand. Um, I think Scrivener is telling me I need 1,030 words a day right now. I'm still under a thousand words a day needed for Camp Nano to maintain or to reach my 30,000 word goal by the end of the month. So we're doing good. We're still right there around a thousand words a day. I'm feeling very optimistic and happy about that. So all that is going well and I think because it's gonna take at least 20 minutes for the green beans they're thin, so I don't think they'll take as long to roast as the other green beans I often get. So those will probably take about 20 minutes. The pasta will take less to cook, so I need to time that just right. But I think in the time it takes for those to roast, I can probably get at least another two, at least another 300 words, I think. So I'm closer to 900 than I am to 1,000. I'd like to get to 1,200. Um, I had hoped for 1,500. I don't think that's going to happen today. Unfortunately, I had been hoping to kind of start off Monday really well and a little bit higher since I didn't do that much writing yesterday. I wasn't expecting to like double my word count or anything, but I had kind of 
hoped to take advantage of having some time and feeling pretty good today to just do more than a thousand and I will just not that much over a thousand like I had originally hoped so I'll be happy with 1200 I'll be thrilled with 13 or 1400 1500 would be amazing but I don't think I can write 600 words in only about 20 minutes now if the green beans take longer we shall see but it's going pretty well i did finish chapter four so we are up to chapter five now and i'm a good bit of the way into the first scene of chapter five that's going well i think i'm actually getting close to the end so i'll probably finish that scene and be able to move on to the next scene, which will be good. I'm happy with things. And, oh, there go the green beans. Let me pop those in. I'm just doing up a giant bowl of, <laughs> of Parmesan because I'm gonna use some for dinner tonight, but then I'm making some extra pasta so that I think tomorrow's gonna be a Chipotle night. Just just saying. Um, and then Wednesday I was thinking I could make some pasta salad that I could then have as leftovers as well. Make enough for Wednesday and Thursday. So just doing up a lot of Parmesan for the rest of the week. So if you're wondering why I'm still cranking away, it's because we're going for a giant bowl of Parmesan. It will not all get eaten up tonight. It will be spread out throughout the week although I am part Italian so I do like a lot of Parmesan um, <laughs> the Parmesan love runs deep in me let me know if you are another Parmesan lover or cheese lover in general leave me a cheese emoji in the comments <laughs> if you are a fellow cheese lover particularly Parmesan and that can be a little mid vlog check in see who's really see who's not only watching to the end but see who's watching every moment throughout the vlog so yeah writing's going well i've just been in such a weird mood lately um hence the reason why we're doing this multi-night writing vlog because vlogging a whole day is just not not working out for me very well at the moment just not in the right headspace for that. So, gosh, what was I going, literally had a thought and now it's gone. What, what was I gonna say? I hate when this happens. And it's been happening a lot more lately. Oh well. I'm probably gonna watch back the footage and be like, oh, I know exactly what you were going to say, but now I literally can't remember what I was just saying it's gone it's gone <sighs> r.i.p whatever that thought was parmesan is grated i'm gonna go sit back down and do some more writing i think i'll go ahead and get the kettle going right now while i write and then get the pasta going yeah i don't know what else to say so i'm gonna get back to writing It's now eight o'clock, but I, I've not been working this whole time. I, dinner was done and I knew I needed to go eat. I didn't want to let it sit and get cold <laughs> while I finished up and talk to you guys. So I've stopped, I've had some dinner, I've started watching the Love is Blind reunion, finally. It's finally available on Netflix after what sounds like some pretty big tech issues. So I just came back over here to wrap up, unplug everything, wrap up this portion of the vlog. I got to 1,584 words. I don't know what happened. 
but I feel really good about that. So it all just kind of was coming out. I could keep writing, honestly, but it's 8.08. I need to stop. I need to go relax. It's a work day. It's a campus day tomorrow, so I know I need to preserve what little energy I have left. But um, I also figured that by feeling like I could keep going, like I kind of know what I need to write next. So I think it will make it a little bit easier to write stuff tomorrow. So fingers crossed, that is what I am hoping for. So yeah, I can do some writing tomorrow and get to at least a thousand words, hopefully. Being that it's a campus day, I'll be happy with like five to 700, but I might actually be able to get up to a thousand tomorrow. So that would be ideal. Um, so continue watching. We'll roll straight into Tuesday and we'll see if that happens. But yeah, I made a lot of progress today. I feel really, really good about that. So our stats as of tonight, as of end of day 17 of Camp Nano. In Camp Nano, we are now up to 18,541. So um, we're going back up um, so I am still, we've kind of preserved, got back some of the ground we lost yesterday. So yesterday I was about 1600 words ahead and then I lost some of that because I only wrote 229 words and so today I am now about 1541 words ahead. So I'm at 18,541. I, if I was just doing a thousand words a day, I was projected to be at 17,000 as of today. So got a little bit of a surplus still. So that makes me feel more confident about getting through this week. And as far as Scrivener is concerned, I needed 1,030. I got 1,584. Feel great about that. And the manuscript is now at 24,325. So that feels great. We're, I'm almost a quarter of the way to 100k and I'm probably, I probably am about a quarter of the way as far as between April 1st and June 30th, which is the total span of time I've allotted to work on the first draft of this. I definitely have made a lot of progress as I was going through the notes and adding them into my project notebook. I need to make a note of this. I think there's some things, there's some things that I would like to go back and add. Oh, my TV's just turned off. Oops, been not focusing. Um, there's some things I know I can add. So if I get stuck tomorrow and or Thursday, when I was filling out my character profiles in the project notebook, I was reminded, oh yeah, there's that detail or there's that detail. And I wanted to reference those things throughout the first few chapters and beyond. So um, if I get stuck, that's something I can do that would probably add around 300-ish words across the first few chapters. So that's something I can, I've put a sticky note in the project notebook, that's something I can do if I get stuck and don't know what to write during those days. So yeah, 1,584, we're, we're starting the week, great. I feel like I can, I feel confident about hitting a thousand words tomorrow. I'm really not sure about hitting a thousand words on Thursday. So I feel like if I can do a thousand words tomorrow and a thousand words on Wednesday, then if I only write like 500 words on Thursday, this will make up for that. And I might be able to do a little over a thousand words on Wednesday. Like as we saw in the 5k and five days vlog last week, I was doing between I did 561 words that Thursday, so I know I can do around 500 words on a Thursday. And other days that week, I was doing either just over 1,000 or 12, 11, 12, 1,300. So I think, I think I can do another 5K between these five weekdays. But yeah, we'll see. I think if this is gonna be a Monday through Wednesday vlog, I'd like to see if we can do 3K in three days. 
and we're already halfway there <laughs> basically because I did 1500 a day so yeah so I feel I feel optimistic about about everything so I'm gonna go turn my TV back on or turn it looks like it's my Roku that shut off which means my TV is about to shut off next so I'm gonna go get all that turned back on I'm gonna unplug the laptop close that grab this um, you guys are on my water bottle. We need to turn out this lamp, grab these to put them back in their case, and I'm gonna go relax, and we'll pick this back up tomorrow, so keep watching. Okay, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, evening, Tuesday night. It's nearly seven o'clock. The sun's still, the sun's just set, but there's still daylight out and that's really screwing with me. It makes me feel like it's not as late as it is, but it's, it's getting late and I'm a little bit behind. I'd wanted to start writing at 6.30 and write from like 6.30 to 7.30. I think I'm still going to stop at around 7.30 ish 7:45 at the latest I do not want to write until 8 I don't want to write until 8 <laughs> it's been a long day and Tuesday isn't even my long day Thursday is heaven help me on Thursday I did not sleep last night um, I got less than six hours which is really bad for me it's really bad that's not good I still managed to get through the day I went and taught classes went fine, drove back up to my side of town, stopped at Chipotle, watched an episode of Below Deck Sailing, um, which has a new season has started on Bravo of that, so watched an episode of that. Also, obviously, took a shower, washed my hair, um, so came home, cleaned myself up, had dinner while watching Below Deck. Now it is nearly seven o'clock and I am sitting down to write finally so yeah um i've started editing where i've imported the footage and just from yesterday we're at 45 minutes <laughs> so this is probably just gonna be a monday tuesday vlog and i will do wednesday thursday friday in the next vlog so so that's making me feel like i want to try to write at least 500 words today so that I can have 2k in two days. That probably won't be the title of the video, but who knows. But yeah, that way for the two days of this vlog, we're still averaging a thousand words a day. And then I will try to do 3k in three days in the next vlog. So I'll just vlog the rest of today in this vlog. There goes the air conditioning. Oh, I don't have where my Bose headphones are in the other room. So I need to go grab those. I might not need them today. It might it might be fine. Oh, we're not talking about how tired I am. It's the whole reason why we're doing a writing vlog, so you don't have to listen to me talk about that. So yeah, I'm going to shut up and start writing. So if I can get Scrivener open. Um, so yeah, Scrivener is telling me I need 1,022. Nano is telling me... I need 881 because um, we did so well yesterday so that's fantastic so yeah I feel like I'll be happy with 500 I'll be great with like seven or eight hundred I'll be ecstatic with a thousand <laughs> so we will see how far we can get yeah it's just now seven o'clock i really don't think i will be able to write much past 7 30 especially once it's completely dark outside i think the fact there's still some daylight is making me feel a little bit more awake but it's going to get dark pretty quick so we'll just see how far i can get by like 7 30 7 45 and just be happy with however many words i get by then
going to wrap up this writing session and wrap up this vlog. So day 18, we are ending with 1297 words written. So that's fantastic. I was not, I was not expecting <laughs> to get almost 1300 words written. That's amazing. I should write three more words, but I'm not going to. We'll stop there. So yeah, so I am now at 19,838. So I'm almost 2000 words ahead again, which is fantastic, but we're still staying my actual progress and my projected progress are still roughly parallel, which is right where I want it to be. <laughs> so I feel like between yesterday and today, I wrote enough extra that if I don't write anything on Thursday and only do, because I did five, 534 extra and 229 extra today. So between yesterday and today, I've done about 800 words more than what I technically needed to do. So if I just do a thousand words on Wednesday and Friday, and I only do 200 words on Thursday, I'll still be averaging 5K across the five days. And that is exactly what I want. <laughs> So I'm very happy about that. I felt pretty good. It's 7.52, I, 53, it just turned. I did stop writing at 7.44, so I only wrote for about 44 minutes, and I'm ready to stop. I could have kept writing, but I really need to go sit on the couch and relax now, <laughs> or I'm gonna be absolutely useless tomorrow. I need to try to go to sleep early tonight as well. So yeah, I've done enough. I've had a lovely evening. Chipotle, TV, writing, more TV. I'll do some reading and then hopefully I will sleep tonight. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little two day writing vlog. It's nice to know that even if all I vlog is the writing sessions, I can fill up a whole vlog in only two days. I could pretty much do it in just one day. Can't believe I got 40, 45 minutes worth of footage yesterday. Like, that's not entirely surprising. We all know I love to talk. But yeah, that's that's good information. <laughs> there might just be a lot of these writing vlogs coming up. I just don't have the bandwidth to vlog much else other than writing. So yeah, at least for the duration of Camp Nano and the semester, this might be what you're gonna get. <laughs> so fair warning. But yeah, it's it's gone really, really well. I'm still working on chapter five. I'm probably a little more than halfway through chapter five, feeling really good about where it's at, and I'm enjoying it. So I've just had the candle going, the music going. My tulips are getting massive. Like, fun fact, tulips continue to grow even after they're cut. These tulips have gained at least three inches since I bought them. I really should have taken a better before picture because they are so much taller in the vase. I might have taken a decent before picture, but I don't think I did. I need to get better about taking pictures when I first bring them home and then a little bit later. Um, but usually the tulips go all wild and floppy and these ones have just gone straight up. And so you really notice how much taller and longer they've gotten, but they're amazing. I'm loving them. So those were definitely bringing me joy along with the jelly beans in the teacup that is now empty. Those were also making me happy and bringing me joy. So yes, I'm now gonna go relax and enjoy the rest of my evening. Um, if you've enjoyed this writing vlog, do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All the typical YouTube stuff, I would really appreciate that as well. Say hi in the comments. Give me your Camp Nano status update so far. How are you doing? Or you can leave me some flower emojis for the tulips and for all the flower stuff I have around my desk. I can't think of a better emoji. So let's just fill the comments with flower emojis because that will make me happy. Um, but yeah, I've got a flashing battery light, so I'm gonna go. And I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye.